and this is in the evening underneath the moon. We can do all that, right? And then of course it's always fun to let your little one know how much you Um, I don't know why. I didn't have any coffee today, maybe? As you just saw, I took Alex to a, I don't know what's officially called, like a sensory class, not sensory, like just a class where you can take certain age-ranged children uh, to hang out and go learn stuff, like interact, have social time. Oh my gosh, uh, Kelly's snoring. Are you awake? Are you awake? Oh, did I wake you up? What's going on over here? Huh? You snoring, McGee? You snoring, McGee? <laughs> and Alex is not sleeping. I don't know if she was just like super stimulated. She's like, whoa, sensory overload. I can't go to sleep now. So she's just been hanging out in her crib. You could probably, you could hear her, I'm sure. <laughs> yammering away. So back to the class. It was all right. It wasn't anything that I... Alarm. It wasn't anything that I don't do at home already and and can't, and couldn't do at home. Uh, the only thing that I would miss is the social aspect of it with the other babies. But because of the way the class was set up and how they run it, there's no time to even have everyone hang out and, and socialize. It's all like... In your face, we're doing this now. Song's over, now we're doing this. That song's over, now we're doing this. Okay, moving on, now we're doing this. It felt very, I don't know, there wasn't anything gentle about it. It, very, it felt very um, like a machine. Like, there, there, was a, there wasn't a lot of feeling. That's not the kind of class I wanna be in. I can do the stuff that they did there, and it's not cheap, it was $22 for a one hour class. I don't know, maybe y'all are thinking, hey, that's, that's all right. Nope, I don't think that's all right. <laughs> I needed to check it out just to make sh to find out, right? To know if I liked it or not, you know, whatever. Now I know I don't like it. <laughs> and then I met 
some people that, people are just weird. I'm not even gonna get into that, whatever. It's like, right, I have a hard time keeping my mouth shut. It was very tr trying. Like, just walk away, walk away, walk away. I was trying to think of a song, but I couldn't. So, <laughs> I did about want to smack a grandma. I've never smacked a grandma, but I, I, I was about to smack this one because she just was casually like, yeah, you know, my, baby, my, my uh, daughter, uh, my, my daughter couldn't get their, you know, the son to go to sleep. So they just were like, oh, you know, just let him cry it out. And he just cried and they just let him cry for like for hours. And as soon as she said hours, I was like, I said, oh, no, no, no. That's what I said. I said it to her. That I couldn't keep inside. That was the one thing that I was just like, Pfft diary out of my mouth. I was like, no. I was like, yeah, I don't agree with that. That's what I said. I said, close my eyes. I'm like, nope. Ah, don't agree with that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I was like, I got to get out of here before I say some more things. I don't want to, you know, get in a fight with grandma. Um, so there's that. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, oh, oh. There's a song for you. Yes. Speaking of, Rick Malamber is going to be in the Taylor Swift concert here in LA. Just letting you know, shh, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you. What am I supposed to tell you? And I wasn't told not to tell anyone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I wish I could go. I bet I can't though. <sighs> Guess I better go get Alex up. <laughs> she is not sleeping. Look, check it out. Of course I come over here and she stops talking. <laughs> okay, there's that. Rick is doing reshoots for th this movie th that he did called Cookie Mobster. I don't know if some any of you follow us and have known about this film. <laughs> they're doing research, they're doing reshoots and ADR and then, I don't know, these are the final steps before the movie comes out so. Don't you know that you'll get one of the first words as soon as I know that where you can find it, where you can watch it. It's really funny because Rick puts on an Italian accent and he's like part of the mob and it's comedy, like family friendly comedy, mobster stuff. It's really funny. Tired guys. Um, my armpit itches. Look, I'm itching my armpit. Yes. Oh gosh, right there. Oh, that's what happens when you shave it. It's just like crazy. I don't know why, but I continue to lap my own house. It's like, I, I think better when I'm moving. I'm on the go, I'm gonna move. Look at all our squash, see? Oh yeah, so much squash. And there's some squash inside there. Look at that, aren't you excited and happy that I showed you our produce section? You wanna see our fridge? Look at our fridge, our fridge is all messed up. Look at that, It's craziness going on in here. We got some cheesecake, cause I got a cheesecake in the freezer and I'm, a couple pieces thawing out. Kish? Some bread, more bread, beers, it's pasta sauce, lots of soup back there. Can't really tell. Soups, butter. This is like the avocados and baby food side, and the baby milks, and then spinach, like drinks and stuff. Oh, a eggnog! I don't drink milk, but I will drink me some eggnog. I don't even know. I gotta talk to Rick about this, but he got this ginormous thing of creamer. What the heck? We have a bunch of yogurts and hummus and cranberry almond chicken salad stuff. Yum. Apples. It's like our big little thing of cheese. It's like our Costco stuff. Beets and oh, cinnamon rolls. They make those now. Our other stuff. Cherries and freaking vegan and, and parsley. And Are you glad I just showed you my fridge? I had to waste some long time. I don't know. Let's go get up Alex. I haven't done that with you guys in a while. Let's go get her up. She's like, let me up. Oh no you don't, girlfriend. Shoot. She's falling asleep, guys. Now I have to take into consideration now I gotta figure out- Oh my gosh, it's 440! She can't go to sleep right now! Oh no! I can either let her fall asleep, get her 20 minutes, Wake her up at five. Because a little bit of sleep is still better than no sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna let her. All right, let's hang out. Let's, let's, let's wait a minute and then we'll go get her up, okay. I got caught up editing a little bit, so it's 5.20 now. I'm gonna go get her up, let's go get her up. Morning, baby. 
get a light on. There she is. Hi. Oh, who's got the rosy cheeks? I know it's Callie. Did you have a good mini nap? Hello. baby food. I usually do this in the morning before she goes down for her first nap, but today was a wonky day because she had that class and then just the day got thrown off and I got tired and I'm still kind of tired, but I'm trying to pull the energy from somewhere. Drinking me some eggnog, just eggnog. Need some spice rum for the eggnog. We'd have none. <laughs> and that's that. So I'm going to make some baby foods. Let's see. What do we have? Shut up. Smells so good in here. This girl just learned how to open the cupboards. Fantastic. Okay, guess uh, what we're going to buy next. <laughs> about halfway down about, got some cooked carrot pea finger foods, some mashed ginger carrot, some mashed zucchini and apple. And then I just got this acorn squash just came out of the oven. Awesome, I'm gonna scoop that out. Uh, I think I need to cook some of this. Cook it up. And then I'm gonna blend it in something. I'm not quite sure of that in the parsley. The green beans, the fresh green beans, garden green beans are getting steamed right now. Then those will get blended in. There's some garlic in there. Ooh, num num. Oh yeah, onion. I gotta chop that up right now. Oh, onion and spinach coming right up. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna hide an avocado, some avocado in some random things. Cause she doesn't like the flavor of avocado anymore. But avocado is so good for you and me. It is done. Finally. For what I can do right now anyways. What a mess. Ah! I have to clean up all this mess. But I got a lot of it done tonight. And all stocked up for the next few days. Uh, we have, again, some carrot finger foods. The best freaking recipe I've ever made, ever, ever roasted. Uh, acorn squash and sweet potato so good and then this is like all the green concoction all the green stuff super yummy um, leftover more of this sweet potato and acorn squash the leftover stuff sweet potato finger foods the ginger carrot and what was this oh yeah the apple zucchini down at the bottom and then just the leftover acorn squash and uh, cut open avocado carrot sticks for her Blueberries, my breast mackerel dillzizzles, baby food. Woo, I'll have some cheesecake. <laughs> Just remind myself. Actually, I need to eat dinner. Oh crap. Rick's not home yet. It's almost 9 p.m. I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna eat some a bunch a bunch of random stuff and freaking I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna game tonight. I'm gonna relax again. Go to bed. <laughs> I'm just the whiny brat today. Me. <laughs> Blackout in the black doggy. Where are you, black dog? There you are. Blackout in the black dog. Wow. <laughs> I just had a freaking scare of my day. Freaking a pins and needles. Pins and needles. So I'm trying to do baby laundry. Laundry. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> are you climbing the stairs? On the right side, things are fixed now. So that's good. So if any lesson can be learned from this, you guys, if you can take away anything, it's 